We the people. We the man. On Blam magazine, this is the We the people representation. You must understand the message that has come in the by my mouth. Do you understand? Do you understand? So do you understand? Hello. I'm Miwe. This is Glam Magazine. Production that I'm bringing you. Today, this topic, we, the people. I was thinking that Ronald Reagan was a straight sucker. He was just out there selling crack. But no, it was the background that was like, nah, you better sell this motherfucker crack. You done told all the people the secrets, man. You done told them, man. They had the gun right there. It was like, nah, you better sell this cold motherfucking uh. Rick Ross up out there, nigga. He gonna know what to do to it. Now get it on my motherfucking motherfucking table right now, Ryan. But Ryan tried to tell the people the truth. Listen to this little clip right here on Black Magazine. We, the people. We, the people, tell the government what to do. It doesn't tell us. Ryan was like... We the people, you don't tell the motherfucker what to do. We don't tell you. No. We tell you. If the people don't get weeded, we get heated. And you will be defeated. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? We the people. Really the key in this is for sheriffs to stand up and exercise their lawful authority. We say it's very simple. Just obey your oath. They made you swear an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States, right. protect the people's rights and their liberties. Just do that. You got no authority here. You're you guys got no authority. Our Constitution is a document in which we, the people, tell the government what it is allowed to do. We are still the boss, not the two political parties. He is... Subscribe. Join the movement. This was the first revolution in the history of mankind that truly reversed the course of government and with three little words. We, the people. Yo, what's up? It's Lamar Okay. Shout out to But anyway, we're going to get into this next clip with uh, Cop Watch. My people out there, Cop Watch holding it down. Ah. You ain't got no authority here. Where you going, fool? Hey, you don't see an eating motherfucker, dog. Let's go. In which we, the people, tell the government what it is allowed to do. And the level of corruption that is good. Stand up for your rights. The stakes are made. Y'all want to be out here fucking with us. Little bitch. Listen, what's up with that? Trying to throw hard and shit? Oh, Mr. No exactly. discipline. You trying to get in my face, huh? Yeah, no discipline. Face, huh? Hey, y'all have the right to remain silent. If you're not on paperwork, you don't. You have the right to remain silent. Fuck these pigs. Undisciplined, stupid motherfuckers. Who's the sergeant? Who's the sergeant here? What? You're on the side. Who's the sergeant? Who's the sergeant? No, no, follow right now. All right, yeah, so look. Okay, that was Cop Watch. They had, they handled that stuff. I think that was from San Diego, I think, I believe. This video was from out there in San Diego. Thank you for the people on the production on that. Okay, and uh, I think, like, you know, overall, they could have handled that shit better. They could have, like, um, you know, try not to escalate the situation, but sometimes it comes for like that where you gotta get bold and bulky on them. But at the same time, if you just present some kind of information, you try to keep the peace out there now. 
You ain't trying to incite riots and shit, but you know, trying to just exert your rights. And you know, if it has to go like that, then that's different. You pull out that case for and start laying shit down, dog. But you know, if you don't gotta lay that shit down, you know, just you know, try to keep it cool, dog. You know, respectable. Put them in the place like how you did. But overall, that's a good job. This video come out here from uh, Beverly Hills. They was out there in Beverly Hills. And uh, this is DDE. This video is brought to you by DDE. Let's check out this arrest. And then after it, we're going to go over some little tips. You know what I'm saying? All right. Watch the video. Here it comes. The what? So we from the like the, the what were you about to say? Stop saying you just ran. I don't run a stop sign. Just saw you. Which one? Lamita, sit down. Which one? I just told you. You're so busy asking me questions. You're not answering my. You're not listening to my answers. I said the one on Lamita's. I didn't run any stop sign. I have everything on camera. Okay. Which one? So do I. <laughs> wow. 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 International driver's license. He obviously doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey. What did he say? He says that we can't stand right there. Public property, isn't it? It's very defensive, sir. Why is that? Because you pull me over and you don't know what for. What? I told you what for. Look at your camera. You'll, you'll be able to see what for. I didn't do anything, though. You lied about the, the stop sign. I didn't know. And you don't understand what, it, what exhaust is on my car. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay. So, I'm citing you for not having a California driver's license. And I'm also citing you for having a modified exhaust. So go ahead and sign right here, send a mission of guilt, just promise you won't take care of the citation. What's that for? I just told you. You're not having a California driver's license. I don't need a California driver's license. Okay. So can you sign mm -hmm. here, please? And if I don't? I have to take you to jail. Really? Yeah. Is that part of the, like, not having a driver's That's license thing, too? California. So with that being said, your car, your car is subject to tow. What? Why? Because you're driving when you're license in California. I can do that. I'm telling you. So my suggestion to you is I'm not going to tow your car. I'm letting you know that your car is subject to tow. Okay? So with that being said, I suggest that you probably go and park your car somewhere and not drive anymore. Do you understand that? So you're going to drive the car, I will tow it. You, I, you have no permission to tow my car. <laughs> because you know you can't. I can. I mean, you can, but at the end I of the day, I'm right, right, you're wrong, but you'll still do it. I get it. Okay, so it's plain hardball. It's all good, dude. What the hell was that? I just finished. He doesn't know how to do his job. To help stop this headlong rush into a socialist dictatorship, totalitarian system in America. And we say it's very simple. Just obey your oath. Job. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'd flip a U turn too. So he told me he's going to tow my car. If he sees me again, because I don't have a valid uh, California driver's license, which is complete bull**t. File a complaint on this cop who uh, is trying to threaten me with towing my vehicle because I don't have a California driver's license. I just, I don't put up with this kind of stuff because uh, this is like a form of harassment. So, you gotta stand up for your rights. Okay, so basically this is um, an infraction not having a valid license, driving, you know, without a valid license. That's right. what his interpretation is, and you're saying... He gave you a ticket, in your opinion, which you should not have received. Correct. For this right. particular section. But this one's really, really simple for you guys to know. Got it. Right? Like, this, is, this isn't this is like a, we need to get into, like, what a Lamborghini exhaust looks like. I understand. This one's like, you guys should know. You pull over Canadians, if he's, unless he's brand new on the job, this guy's pulled over other Canadians and other foreign people, right? You got a, you got a citation for something you should not have received. Correct. That's item one. And then the threat to take my vehicle away from me based on that citation, which doesn't exist. Okay, so the good news is that did not happen, you have your car. I have my car at the moment, but... <laughs> good news is that did not happen, you have your car. I have my car at the moment, but... Good news is that did not happen, you have your car. I have my car at the moment, but I'm not going to have my vehicle towed if he sees me around Beverly Hills again. Okay. Can I get some of uh, this information? Absolutely. And then I'd, I'd also need like a... I'm all the time. All right. Yeah, he's very good, very professional. 
If he only talks to the officer, there will be nothing on record that I was ever here and this ever happened. So I'm going to make sure I file a complaint. That way, if this does happen a second time, there will be a record of it. The government of the United States stop this hypocrisy game and we're all right. Stop being hypocrites. Mistakes are made. Absolutely. So an interpretation of a, a penal code or vehicle code, an honest mistake, not negligence or targeting someone. You understand what I'm saying? The more important issue to us, and I'm not um, demeaning that because obviously we want well-educated officers, so that's very important. The most important issue is the manner in which you're spoken to. The most important thing to us, if I were to prioritize them, is the customer service aspect. Correct. Do you understand what I'm saying? I get it. So to summarize, you're saying it's just you don't like how you were spoken to. Um, okay, this corresponds to this car. It does. Okay. Can I ask you how much that car cost? Take care, sir. Thank you. I'm Thanks. sorry for uh, the time waste. So you see, DDE, uh, you know, he, he, he went in on him because he actually knew to a degree of what he was talking about. You fill out a complaint. That's good. I'm not filing no punk ass complaint. Be whining and crying and shit out here in LA. Man, we file claims. What we do? That's what we do. Okay? I tell you, motherfucker, time file a claim. Anyway, okay, so he said, you know, he was exerting his right at every little get off. Like, boom, 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 boom. You know, this ain't, you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this. And then he was like, yeah. And then, so, you know, they gave him his, they let his car go. This next little video is just an audio clip. It's a me. Or somebody. <laughs> it's somebody. <laughs> Same thing. Provided him the call, like, boom, like, whatever. I don't do call, but here go your call. Interfering with my wife. We gonna take a audio clip. Check this out. If, um, if you got any kind of questions, comments, concerns, just go and leave something down up over there. Law enforcement is the same as the proper role of government. And that is we are here as government officials to protect freedom. <laughs> Code um, 260A. A commercial vehicle is a motor vehicle of a type required to be registered under this code, used or maintained for the transportation of persons for hire, compensation, or profit, or design, used or maintained primarily for the transport of property. For passenger vehicles, this section does not apply. It clearly states right here. I, I haven't spoken already for my registration. I already have the ticket for showing I have spoken online. I already paid for it. It's all set. I can pull it a few times, but I need all these times. This is both of the vehicles. I don't know. Yeah, it's a big deal. I'm like, I don't bring the deal down the street. I'm like, it's okay. I'm going to have I'm like, you know what, I have nothing to strike on here. This is why I know everyone's fucking hate for police. Having an issue, you can probably have to fill out an impound hearing form. Is that something that you, you're looking forward to having an impound hearing? In regards to the impound, will we be able to help? And then, we will just release, like, you know what I mean? Right. But if you don't have a registration, and you feel like your vehicle was impounded unfairly, then you need to fill out an impound hearing form to see an impound hearing. Uh, you have to fill it out. Fill out the question you said. Well, you don't know I can fill out for you, okay? I'm not sure if you have no one available on your door. In order for me to release the vehicle to you, I can't release the vehicle to you if you don't have a license driver. You can't drive it away. Oh, I'm not driving. I'm driving. The good news is that did not happen. You have your car. I have my car at the moment, but... The good news is that did not happen. You have your car. I have my car at the moment. Mistakes are made. Absolutely. So an interpretation of a, a penal code or vehicle code, an honest mistake. Mistakes are made. You in? Where am I? Get my. I can't release the vehicle to you if you don't have a license driver. You can't drive it. Get my seat, man. Get my seat.
I have never in my lifetime seen the level of corruption that is going on t today. I know the law, and I am telling you I've never seen the law violated by people in power like I'm seeing now. It's, it's bad for all of America. Look, we cannot let our political authorities cross the, the lines of, 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 of what's legally correct. We can't let them do that because it's a threat to everyone at that point in time. And I'm not being biased. I have many friends in law enforcement, many friends. And they're honest cops, and they'll tell you straight out, we don't approve of what's going on. Or a cop that the average person on the street is supposed to respect get on the witness stand and take an oath, I happens. swear to tell them. They don't even get a slap on the wrist. They don't even get a letter of reprimand. They go on and lie in the next case. That's the one. Much love, big respect to Glam Magazine. Sonic's hit it, gotta have it. The county sheriff uh, is the only elected law enforcement officer in the United States, and certainly in his county. So he's the only official that reports directly to the power source. Uh, in other words, he's not a bureaucrat. He wasn't appointed by some other body. Uh, he reports directly to we, the people. And so he is sovereign in that regard because he reports directly to the other sovereigns. And that's why the sheriff is the ultimate authority. He's not a bureaucrat from Washington, D.C. Uh, the president of the United States cannot tell your sheriff what to do. And so certainly none of the other auxiliary departments underneath the president can tell the sheriff what to do, and that includes the IRS, the EPA, OSHA, FBI, DEA, any of those agencies cannot tell the sheriff what to do. Uh, one of the best things I ever heard of President of was Barack Obama saying that the greatest gift that our forefathers gave us was the right to self governance. And he totally flipped it around in the very next breath. And he said, if you don't like the way the government is at this time, wait four years, I'll let the whole new, you know, set of politicians, a whole new set of congressmen, whole new you know, president, and reverse everything that we did. So he was basically saying, that's right, the, the forefathers gave us the right to self govern And he tried to spin that into saying, they gave us the right to vote. Oh, really? No, I got the right to self govern and that means I don't need anybody to vote for anybody to be my leader to tell me how to govern myself. Federal laws and the state laws don't apply to me, but I know damn well they apply to people that are agents of that business. If you go to work at Walmart, aren't you subject to the rules of Walmart? So if you're an agent of government, you're subject to the rules of government. We the people are the driver. The government is the car. And we decide where it should go, and by what route, and how fast. Almost all the world's constitutions are documents in which governments tell the people what their privileges are. Our constitution is a document in which we, the people, tell the government. To see what the it, turmoil in both of these two political parties, they need a wake-up call. We need a revolution. Well, when I say revolution, it doesn't have to be violent. Seemed to me that we begin reversing the order of things. That through more and more rules and regulations and confiscatory taxes, the government was taking more of our money. Man is not free unless government is limited. I will ask him now, why are you shooting the black people there when they're on the ground? Who were too limp wristed to exercise their authority. Where that jacket from? What you got? What? <laughs> yeah. what? Are you trying to bag on my jacket? Auntie, let me get you a jacket. You don't like my jacket? No, I don't like it because it don't look like it keeps you warm. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I just know I don't want you to get it. Nah, I want you to say. But like, is it the style or? It's the thinness of it. I think it's too cold for this. 
Oh, okay. This nigga around me looking fly. We sitting back over the.